Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Papa Tab or Tarek and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, as we learned in the last video, we're just gonna fake it till we make it, okay? So I'm wearing this shirt, I'm gonna fucking puff out my chest so I can be viewed as the lion that I want to be known as. And uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, this is another tattoo I have. This is my wife's birthday. So yeah, legal age. So anyways, we're going to be taking a look at another video by Sneeko. This is a 21-year-old video. Well, it's titled 21 years old. So this is the, the next in the series of years old videos. We watched 20 before, now we're watching 21. We're seeing how he's kind of progressing into the shit that he's doing now. So we'll take a look. Right here, here's the thumbnail. 21 years old with a punching bag. You got to get that puncher bag out. The boxing gloves. Okay. So I just turned 21, which unless you live in America is a pretty arbitrary number. The biggest thing, it just means that I don't have to use my flimsy fake ID anymore. You see this? Imagine the disrespect. That's all that means. That's what turning 21 means. It's I, yeah, I can see where he's coming from, like, in other countries and other parts of the world, you get, you can be 16 and drink, or 18 and drink, and the States is 21, so, I get it, it's not really that important, but that's pretty much what it means. It's another reminder that I'm getting older, and I gotta start maturing, because I got a lot of that to do. And yet, you haven't done it. Where is the maturity sneaky sneak? I'm one of those people that gets really nervous about other people's accomplishments. Lionel Messi won his first Ballon d'Or at 21. Steve Jobs founded Apple Company at 21 years old. And I'm getting excited about it, not having to use my flimsy fake ID. But I, I can see it. Like, like, seeing other people comparing yourself to others is not always the best thing, obviously. Um, when you take a look at people that have accomplished a lot of shit in life, it, it can be overwhelming. Saying like, oh, I haven't reached that stage yet. We're, no one's expecting you to. You don't have to. You don't. You can live a life. It's fine. You have one life here. Just make it worth your while. Make it the best that you can. Just because Steve Jobs founded it, uh, Apple in, at 21 years old doesn't mean he was the happiest. Um, just because Lionel Messi got his fucking award at 21 doesn't mean he was the happiest. He's doing pretty good now, I think. But that doesn't mean he was happy. But it's fun. It's cool. Get to be independent now. Don't have to answer to anybody. Kind of the perks of having this job, you know. But I got to be on my shit every day. There's nobody telling me what to do. So if I want to, I can just be laying at home all day. I, I understand that. Having a job that doesn't... That no one's on your fucking back looking down at you, peering over your shit. It, it's like, oh, there's a lot of shit on my shoulders. There's a lot of um, things that, and responsibilities that I have to do now. It's all on me. So I, I know what he's talking about. I woke up at 11 today. If I don't get like 8 to 10 hours of work in, then... I'm wasting my time. I should have stayed in college. And people my age ask me for the answers. People are always asking me for a solution, which makes sense because I talk for a living. Um, I think it's because you seem smart for your age, but like I said, that's died down quite a bit. So naturally people message me like, how do I stop procrastinating? How do I get over my ex? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a common question between like youngsters. I'm saying that as a 23-year-old myself, but I still feel young as fuck. That, that's a common question. Your, your boy is, like, having an issue with this girl, and, like, how do I get over that? Um, what I would say is mainly just work on yourself and be grateful for what you have and just work towards what you want to do. I'm trying to mature, man. I'm trying to mature. But I still do dumb shit. Like, I'm aware of a lot of the mistakes I make. Is he aware now of the mistakes he makes? I don't know. But I, I don't stop doing them. I just feel guilty about it afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. It's the life of a sinner. I know. You fucking do shit, and then you hope that you're forgiven. Or I don't even know if you care that you're forgiven, but you just keep doing, doing shit, and you don't really care about the consequences. I'll still not lift up the toilet seat before I pee, and then get pee dribble all over the all over the seat and be like oh why'd you do that i hope he used a fucking water bottle right there i really hope he did and so i feel guilty and then lift up the seat afterwards and then let the piss dribble trickle down so that the next person 
can't blame you. Ah, smart tactics right there. I don't know if that makes me any more mature for admitting it, but... Kind of, kind of. You're admitting to your faults, so that, that is a sign of maturity. At least that's the first step, right? Like, self-awareness? Hey, he's not wrong. Mature. There you go. Financially independent, but I'm, I'm pee dribbling on the toilet. You know, everyone has their vices, it's okay. I also have to come to terms that 21, I've never had one successful relationship. Didn't he, like... Oh, he went on a podcast at some point, and he said, like, I've had a bunch of girlfriends. Maybe. Or, were they long-lasting? No, they were n n worth nothing. They were worth dirt. So, I'm glad he's admitting to it. He said, I didn't really have a lot of... I also have to come to terms that 21, I've never had one successful relationship. A successful relationship. But, but people define success in different ways, so... I view successful relationship as someone that you've learned something from. And if he's learned fuck all from his relationships, then I guess he's failed so far. Relationship, not one. I kept blaming the women that I was with, or not even the women, the girls. I kept blaming them because, you know, they care about Instagram comments. They care about their outfit, what they're going to wear to the party. And I don't, like, I don't care about any of that. But I realized that maybe I just look for flaws. Maybe I just look for reasons to sabotage relationships. She gets... That, that is a an issue between some men i i know what he's talking about um i'm glad he's like self-aware as fuck that's, that's good you know that's a mature sign right there too emotional it, th th this this one smells bad but if they keep fucking up after like three weeks it's you like i get it it's me very self-aware for 21 years old only two years later he's not as self-aware at all it's my fault Every single 21-year-old girl wants to be taken on an adventure. You scroll on Tinder in a college town, every fifth girl is like, take me on an adventure. I'm like, what? Where are we going? I don't love you. Where are we going to go? Who's telling you to take them on an adventure? Who? I, I get it. Like, you don't want to take anyone on an adventure if you don't love them. But you, you know, you get to know a person on an adventure. You get to know a person... As you talk to them, as you hang out with them, as you do this, you don't just say like, "All right," like someone's like, "Oh, I wanna, I wanna try to live my life with you." You're like, "Nah, I don't know you, bitch." They're trying to get to know you, dude. They're trying to. Maybe I don't know, or maybe you you view them as uh, commodities, or maybe you think they view you as a commodity. Maybe I don't know. Really, you gotta be responsible for yourself. I'm doing okay, but it's about finding balance, being able to relax and also being able to work. Like every day I wake up, I have a pile of clothes and bags and shirts from the merch. To my left, there's the umbrella with the light and the camera and the microphone. I don't know how to separate work from rest. It's balance. The answer is balance. Yes, okay, we'll keep going. I don't have much to say on this right now. This is the one piece of advice that I can confidently give to 21 year olds. Work and rest have to be in moderation because we've learned that burning out from exhaustion is as real as procrastinating and panicking when it seems like you're the only one not succeeding. There's so many entrepreneurs and motivation gurus or whatever the fuck selling this idea that you have to grind. And you I like I love this skit from Trevor Wallace. Good skit. You gotta hustle to be successful. It works because we're vulnerable, stressed out, and scared about the future. But so he knows he's a little self-aware at least. That these, there's these people that want to sell them a fucking course, that want to sell them this lifestyle um, for a price. He, he understands that. And now he's doing that same thing with his creativity kit. I hope you guys are seeing the fucking full circle that's coming around right now. He knows that you're going to spend fucking money. He's hoping that you're going to help make him rich. Anyone could go to the gym and say... And he's going to use the fear-mongering tactic of you, you don't really know what's going on, going on in life. You're probably going to end up some fucking brokey sheeple that are in New York City taking pictures with their phones. That's the fear mongering he's setting on you. Don't fucking buy his course. Don't buy into the bullshit. Just live your life. Do what you want to do. Find out how to do something if you don't know how to do it. For free. On the internet. Say the word business a lot. Don't listen to them. But at the same time, there's not that many years of procrastinating you got left. There's only so much time you can spend getting stoned all day or binge watching reality shows before someone starts getting bread and getting ahead.
I mean, he's not wrong. There are people that just waste their 20s and 30s and they just are stuck at a dead end job and that hate their life. But there's some people that love their life. So um, it's all on you. It's it's all opinion based. It's all on you if you love your life or not. Bars. The vast majority of 21 year olds are wrapped up in bullshit from the woke warriors to the cloud chasers to the college dropouts and the college tune outs to the soundcloud rappers and their baby moms most of us have so much maturing to do but it's not our fault because we're slowing down financially why else is the average age of a new parent 10 years older than it was in 1986 yeah there's more opportunity but there's more competition so in more competition for for what for the age that women have babies, how a gap divides America. So in 1980, it used to be like 19 years old. Than it was in 1986. Yeah. Oh, I wish he showed that a little bit more longer. Why else is the average age of a new parent 10 years older than it was in 1986? So about 28, 29. So yeah, he's not wrong. That's crazy. Yeah, there's more opportunity, but there's more competition. So in turn, there's more anxiety and there's more depression. I get nervous just thinking about the achievements of other people my age. Like, I, I know he's self-aware. I know he is. And he should be not so hard on himself. He should not be because it's their life. You have a different life. You got to live it. Why are they successful and I'm still struggling? What's their secret? I'm still peeing on the toilet seat, man. Then I remember Kanye West didn't release his first album until he was 27. Stan Lee didn't publish his first comic book until he was 39. And Martha Stewart's cookbook was released when she was 41. It's all about balance. With hard He knows, dude. He knows. He's like, I'm comparing myself to these other people, but there's other people that have had success later in their life. So he's like, maybe I still have time. And everyone does, dude. Everyone has time. Until you don't. That's the lesson. Hard work and patience, your time will come. But right now, I'm just trying to get this stupid video done so I can go have fun at a concert, man. Okay, you know, it wasn't- Guys, if you wanna buy a cozy Hold ass on. hoodie, we just released these on quality.clothing. And if you wanna support me again- Yeah, I'm okay. I'm not gonna buy from quality. Well, let's just see if it even works. Sign up now to get notified. Uh, when we launch, sh can I shop for anything? Is there nothing? Is there absolutely fucking nothing? I guess you can't even do that. Uh, well, anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to take a look at it and see, uh, you know, how, kind of how he's progressed. Yeah, I, I see him slowly going towards where he's at right now. Um, if I can find the 22-year-old video, I will absolutely watch it. But uh, yeah, um, if you guys liked it, go ahead and press the like button. Comment whatever you guys want to comment. Subscribe today to become a daddy, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.